Hey. Good morning. Good morning. I'm DC. I'm AJ. You're watching Barside Jive? Live. Live. Live uh, from uh, AJ's on Main in historic downtown Grapevine, Texas. We had some technical issues this morning, so <laughs> we've got a Go, GoFundMe account. You guys want to you know, contribute uh, $25, $50, $100, uh, $2,000, $10,000. AJ and I will put to good use buying us some good equipment. Then we won't have these issues. But uh, we may look a little dark today. Aren't we? I'm not dark. <laughs> no, you are dark. Both of us. Where are you going? Appreciate you guys joining us for another thought-provoking, soulful, intellectually stimulating, with some good old-fashioned conversation and maybe even some adult conversation today and some healthy beer drinking. So uh, you guys can join us via the bar phone. You know the number. 747-477-2898 for a more personal experience. Because you know we're all about the personal experience here at uh, Barside Jive. Uh, if you're new to the show, you can always catch uh, up with our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com bar, uh, slash Barside Jive live. <coughs> and you can catch up on some of our old stuff and uh, destroy some of those unwanted brain cells. <laughs> So we got a full plate today, AJ. Yep. You know what tomorrow is, right? Does anybody know what tomorrow is? Wednesday. No, man. It's beyond, way beyond Wednesday. It's an important day. It's Wednesday. No, man. It's, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. What's the day? Come on, think about it. It's. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, AJ. Tomorrow, you and the wife, big plans. I know you've made big plans for Megan. This shit was made up by Hallmark. <laughs> Sell cards. Hey, Megan, get ready. AJ's got a big one planned for you this year. <laughs> I'm sure that limo will be there about five-ish. Let's start that evening off right. <laughs> hey, so... uh I know last year you kind of let me down a little bit, being your buddy for as long as we've been buddies and all, but I know this year you took good care of me, so can I have my card? No. You, don't, don't tell me, AJ, you didn't get me another freaking card. Seriously? Seriously. <clears throat> I can't believe it, AJ. It's just like two, three years in a row you hadn't even thought of me on Valentine's Day. I'm never going to think of you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, man. Never. Man, I don't understand this. Okay, well, I made you a card. It's pretty. It gets prettier every year. I'm going to read it to you. Here, y'all look at it. Isn't that pretty? Just for AJ, just for my bro. Here we go. I'm so glad I met you. <laughs> At first I wasn't looking. I wanted no one in my life. For I had totally given up. All I wanted was to crawl away and hide. But for just a moment, I gave you a chance. I let my guard down. Oh, one last try at bromance. I never imagined that I would find all this and more. The best friend and buddy. You like that part, don't you, where I hug you? No. no you don't? Not at all. That one could ever hope for. <clears throat> A friend I can count on to listen and understand. A lover for... Really 
a buddy for me to hold. A buddy for me to like that is truly a good man. It's okay. I love you when you smile and all the things you do. So I want you to know that you're my dream come true. I know in my heart now that no one else will do. Happy Valentine's Day, AJ. I'm so glad that I met you. Hey, look, I like foot from DC to AJ and all those hearts. I, those hearts, I did those individually. How many colors it took to do that? It's a lot. Did y'all see it? All right, that's my card. Oh, here, that's my card. Okay, let's see what you got me. Oh, oh. God, ungrateful. Here. Roses are red, violets are blue. This is so wrong, but you're okay. You did get me one. Yeah, I think I found it from last year. Doesn't even look like my writing. <laughs> it is your writing. That is not my writing. Roses are red, violets are blue. This is so wrong, but you are okay. Well, you know, it doesn't rhyme, AJ, but it's the thought that counts. So I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm yeah. Card okay. exchange is out of the way, so we'll move on. What about our favorite Valentine's Day movie? What's your favorite Valentine's Day movie? Heartbreak Ridge. <laughs> Heartbreak Ridge. I think that was your favorite Valentine's movie last year. It's a good yeah. one. Why is it your favorite Valentine's movie? I just, I just like how it has all the hearts in it. All the hearts in it, yeah, well, in the title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my favorite was Serendipity. John Cusack uh, meets... Uh, Kate Beckinsale. You know, it was about how people meet like we did, AJ. We did just not happenstance. Meet. We did not meet like that. Yeah, we did. We just happenstance. I came in one day and you were here. We became buddies. and, and But with them, you know, they, they fell in love and then, much like we did, but then they, they parted ways for so long didn't, and they, then they tried to find we, each we other. We did not fall in love. We could part ways. We could part ways right now. <laughs> You could drag your ass out that door. AJ, I know you're just putting on for the camera. That's not what you tell me when you're like, camera's off. All right, so what about favorite Valentine's Day song? What's yours? He stopped loving her today. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be a Van Halen song, that one, uh, Ain't Talking About Love. <laughs> So you disappointed me a little bit, but all right. You want to know what mine is? Oh sure. Yeah. Once in a lifetime by Landon Austin. I'm standing where the lightning strikes. I know this doesn't happen twice. You must be my once in a lifetime, in a lifetime. You must be my once in a lifetime. Never heard of it. Yeah, I didn't figure you would. Well, we probably need to cover the 10 cards that dude shouldn't get chicks. Okay. Just to, you know, since tomorrow is Valentine's Day and a lot of guys will be out tonight in the 11th hour buying a card for their woman. We want to make sure you don't make the mistakes that AJ's made in the past and, and get the wrong cards. So here's a few that you probably shouldn't get. This Nookie voucher is for you, you lucky thing. Probably wouldn't want to get that one. You like that one? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? Yeah. Oh, nothing, AJ. <laughs> you want to borrow it and sign it and give it to Megan? <laughs> okay, how about this one? <clears throat> You'll do. Bit too late to swap you now. <laughs> Don't. I wouldn't get that one either. Here's one. 
There is nobody else I'd rather lie in bed and look at my phone next to. Happy Valentine's Day. AJ likes that one. If you really want to use any of these, you can. Thank you. I wouldn't recommend it, but roses are red, violets are blue. Please take your pants off and the rest of your clothes, too. Who doesn't like just getting straight to the point, right? If there was a zombie, zombie apocalypse, I would kill you last. That's pretty romantic. How about, uh, you're lucky to have me, and vice versa. Or, happy Valentine's Day, sugar tits. That's really popular. And then we've got, of course... You're the reason I get up in the morning. Just kidding, I had to pee. <laughs> and then, last but not least, this is one of your favorites, I think. This is a not give. You suck less than most people. That's only nine. Uh, right, because number ten is you don't give one at all. All right, so that's our Valentine's segment of the day. Did you have anything to add about Valentine's Day? No, nothing. Or did you make anything special for the customers? Like, did you like cut hearts in the brisket, or you, no. you got you know some not, nothing? Got giving away little no. the little candies with the little sayings, or no, no, no? Okay. How about are you doing like a special event for Valentine's Day here? Are you having a Valentine's Day yeah. party? Yeah, we're having barbecue. Are you? Mm-hmm. Cool. For Valentine's Day? Is well, it a couple's thing or they have a couple? Yeah. Well, we're actually, we're having it for Wednesday, which happens to just fall on your Valentine's Day stuff. Mm. Okay. Right here at AJ's on Main? Right here. What's the special of the day on Valentine's Day? Uh, barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you heard it right here from AJ. Come down. Smoked come, meat. Come on, <clears throat> come on down on Valentine's Day tomorrow evening and get you some barbecue for your Valentine's Day. Uh, bring your date, and uh, AJ might even have a prepared card for you. Uh, you can have your choice out of nine. Just sign your name when you come in, and he'll slip it to you, and you'll be good to go. So now we've reached one of the important segments of our uh, day, and it's our fashion segment. You know, this is where we talk about fashion trends, style tips, hair ideas, and all things, you know, beauty, for inspiration, style. So if you remember last week, we discussed boxers versus briefs, and that segment kind of started strong and then kind of fizzled out altogether. Oh, so I never did finish last week because it did fizzle out, so I wanted to share with you the results of our poll and 64.5 percent went with boxer briefs as being the most popular black so there you go no actually the color gray was most popular but 64.5 percent so boxer briefs won out over boxers trunks or briefs briefs was only five percent how them uh how them ones turn out for you <laughs> I got a lot of messages after that show. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, absolutely. Those are yours for real? Absolutely, they're mine. Oh my God. You want to touch them? Gonna you want to feel them? I'm going to cut you. You want to just lay them right here? No. <laughs> These are just caught. Here. I'll find this kind of cool. Okay, moving on. Oh, we're, today is white pants. We're talking about white pants today. Now remember, if you guys want to call in, the numbers, uh, well, I already told you. Let me tell you again. Um, today we're talking about white pants. Uh, it's our fashion matter of the week, right, JJ? Sure. Yeah. You know, in this day and age, you can pretty much wear whatever you want to. 
whenever you want to. And that includes wearing white after Labor Day, like me. Um, and according to GQ magazine, in, our, in their eyes, uh, white jeans are appropriate like 365 days a year. GQ magazine? Yeah. Ain't they the ones that <laughs> pick Colin Kaepernick as yeah. the uh, yeah. well, you know, person of the year? Nope. Nope. Yep. You know, you got to overlook some of that. I'd overlook the white pants part, too. What's wrong with white pants? Nothing's right with it. Yeah, I wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you guys like white pants... A lot of chicks wear white even pants. Even after Labor Day, comment. Comment below. Let me know if you like white pants. Just say, white pants, yes. Debbie said she likes them. See there? Debbie. All right, see, Debbie knows. She Debbie's wears fashion conscious. She wears winter white. She, she knows. So let's uh, let's find out what the retailers say, AJ. All right. So, so Debbie said that white pants for women are okay. Oh, for women? Yeah. That's what she said right there. No, she said for me too. No. Okay. And Warren had some painter overalls oh, that were white. Oh, man. We're verifying update. This may take a while. Uh-oh. That, that's not good, is it? All well, hell's going crazy in the Apple world. You know, we've had a tough day with technology. This thing, it just went off completely. My gosh. Oh, look at it. Okay. Well, all right, we're going to have to uh, use the backup. No wonder they hadn't been calling in. <laughs> Phone had, well, it's doing something now, isn't it? It's updating. Yeah, it's oh, be Lord. It's, yeah, we got the, <laughs> this is a bad sign. DC, you got any white shoes? No, I don't wear white shoes. But you think white pants are okay? Yeah, white pants are cool. Okay. You don't have that white belt. This is a problem. No white. I only only white pants. No, but no white belt. I do have a white shirt. No white belt. No white shoes. But this wide. If I had white shoes, I'd have to wear white. I'd have to have a white belt because you got to. They got to match. Should get some white shoes and a white belt. No. I will bring you some white shoes. No. Warren's thinking about getting Paula some uh, red tipped hollow point ammo for Valentine's Day. So nice Debbie, Debbie said white pants are okay for just DC. See you there. And her. Oh, that's cool.
Leslie Dean says white pants are good, white shoes not good. No. And Trish wants to know who's in the kitchen. Nobody, but thinks I got to check on something. <laughs> um, golly, I don't know why I'm having all these issues today. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in. Show starts in one minute. What is it? Hey, why it's buttercup. Popcorn adds sweet butter to hot popcorn. Mix it up, wrap it up, buttercup is born. It's delicious. So nutritious. It's a taste delight. It's so munchy. Crisp and crunchy. You'll enjoy each bite. Eat butter crunched buttercup. Popcorn at its best. Served in a king-size cup. It beats all the rest. with the show. Let's see. Morgan says she likes white shoes. And Jose wants tacos. Route 21 Debbie. How may I help you? Hey, Debbie. My name is DC. Uh, you guys have white pants. Do what? You, you guys have white pants. White pants? Yes, for white. For girls or guys? No, for guys. For guys? Let's see. You say no. I have, like, white joggers, like the twill material. Um, are you looking for jeans or just pants? Well, here's the deal, okay? My girlfriend wants me to wear white pants for Valentine's Day. Okay. I'm about 5'8 and 150 pounds. Do you know what size you wear? Yeah, 5'8 and 150 pounds. No. <laughs> no, like what size? Well, can't you, don't you have a chart? I'm 5'8 and 150 pounds. No, we go by waist size. Oh. Like, like 36, 32, 34, 32. Like your actual waist size. I don't have any idea. <laughs> no, my mama and, and my girlfriend buy my pants, so I don't know what. I mean, I oh, know Lord. I'm 5'8 and 150. Y'all don't have a conversion chart or something? Uh-uh. No, we don't have it. Mean, we use, we use one of those in metalworking, so I figured y'all had one. No. Um, we just have the sizes, like as far as the waist size and the length. Well, well, let me ask this. Do you have men's white pants? Yeah, we do. We oh. have their, their denim, though. That's why I was asking you. Did they need to be dressier or just well, like denim? She, she didn't. She didn't say, but we're just going down to the we're just going down to the uh, Chinese food place, so it's not a big yeah. deal. I'm in I'm in well, St I'm in Stephenville, so I mean, you know where Stephenville is? No. 
It's I'm like not from Texas, so I'm not from Oh, it's like two hours. It's like two hours from there. Oh. So, and that's oh, the thing. I, mean, I I need to drive. I need to drive and get these because they don't have anything here except the. I checked with a Walmart and they don't have white pants. And uh, the closest I could find, someone said, "Well, my girlfriend's second cousin said call Larue." Well, yeah. Larue goes by Rue, and so I thought, well, I looked at the internet and it, and, it, and I found Rue, and so I thought, well, this was her. But I've called three of you, and none of them are the right girl. But I'm tired of calling. So yeah. I was ho hoping that you could help me, but is LaRue yeah, there? I, yeah, I just need, I just need to, like, waist size. If you can figure out waist size, then we'd be able to help you. Okay. Can you tell me this? Is LaRue there? No. LaRue, the, LaRue's not there. Is this LaRue, one, the, the store where LaRue owns? It's, it's a corporation, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. I, oh, it's a big deal. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Um, I guess I need to be measured, and then I can give you the size, and you can tell me if you have them. Yeah, if you can get measured, then I can tell you what size what we have left in the store, and just, just go from there. Hang on a minute, okay? Can you hang on one second? Oh, let me ask you this. What's the price on those? Um, we start at twenty four ninety nine, and they go up. I mean, what's the most expensive? Uh, let's see. I mean, I got to drive a long way, and I'm trying to figure this out before I get in the truck. Yeah. Um, the I got a diesel, but you know, it's the gas is it's high out here in Stephenville. Yeah, it's thirty nine ninety nine is oh, the highest. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, hey, hang on a second. Twenty four ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine. AJ, you got a tape measure? No. Oh, we're, I didn't know you were out here. You don't want a tape measure? No. All right. Do you, do you what? So you have no way to tell if I'm five eight and 150 pounds what size I might be in that you might have. Uh huh. Because it's your waist size. Because your waist, I mean, your waist could be anything. It could be 30, 32, 34. Yeah. Well, it's you know, your waist is. my my mama always has to let them out anyway because my package, you know, it's like, you know, it, it's a, such that I have to have them let out a little bit in the crotch. And so whatever I get, I've got to get uh, altered before tomorrow night. Oh, okay. So I need to get them today. So I need to, I need to get measured. Okay, I'll tell you what. Can I get your name and call you back? Uh, I'm the store manager. My name is Debbie. Is, I'm sorry, Becky? Debbie. Debbie. D-E-B-B-I-E, Debbie. D-E-B-B. -E -B -B. Oh, you're the manager. Yeah, I'm the so, store Oh, manager. so I'll be able to talk to you when I come in? How, Debbie, how, how late will you be there? Well, we don't give out schedules over the phone. But, well, I mean, I have plenty of managers here that will help you out. I mean, what time do you guys close? We close at 9. At 9? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get measured and I'll call you back. And if you've got Everybody. them in stock, then I oh, oh, let me ask you, are those skinny? We have skinny and straight are the two that come in the white. Awesome. And also, do they have any that like have zipper pockets? Like those on the legs, like those, you know, the zippered pockets mm -hmm. we do have them oh you do yeah oh okay awesome i like those zippers because my stuff doesn't come out of my pockets <laughs> okay yeah, we have different types okay debbie all right well i'm going to get measured then i'll call you back all right okay thank you what time's your lunch what time's your lunch uh, we don't give out schedules well i don't want to miss Sorry. you during the lunch because it's almost lunch time for you guys isn't it um well i mean i'll be here so it's not a problem. Okay, awesome. I'll call you back. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Well, Debbie's got me hooked up. All I need to do is drive over to Mesquite after I get measured. All right. AJ, it's time for breaking news. I'm glad we got the white pants thing figured out. Okay, so uh, I've got some breaking news. We're just going to have to go ahead without AJ. I don't think he'll miss anything. All right, so the first bit of news I have today, breaking news, is uh, student says she flushed emotional support hamster after getting bad info from Spirit Airlines. 
Well, that's our first problem is flying spirit. All right, Miami, a college student says bad information from Spirit Airlines led her to flush her pet dwarf hamster pebbles down an airport toilet, according to the Miami Herald. Belen Aldicosia, 21, of Miami Beach, Florida, was flying home from college to South Florida to deal with an urgent medical issue. Aldicosia says she checked with Spirit Airlines multiple times in advance of her flight to make sure she could bring the pet along. The hamster was certified by her doctor to be an emotional support animal. When she arrived at the Baltimore airport, the airline refused to let the animal on the flight. <clears throat> A Spirit Airlines spokesperson acknowledged to the Herald the airline mistakenly told Aldicosia the pet would be allowed on the flight. Aldicosia's only friends were hours away at campus. She had no family in the area and she was not old enough to rent a car, she told the Herald. Airline representatives suggested she flushed pebbles, Aldicoa said. Spirit has denied that any rep suggested the uh, drastic move. One of the reps started giving me some tips like, oh, you should just leave her behind or like flush her down the toilet. Aldicosia said. So out of options and with her uh, flight boarding she considered letting Pebbles just run free but then she felt it was more humane to flush the little thing, little precious little animal down the toilet. I didn't have any other options she told the Herald finally sobbing in an airport bathroom. Aldicosia flushed the creature down the toilet. She was scared, I was scared, she told the paper. It was horrifying trying to get her to go down the toilet. Aldicosia is now considering filing a lawsuit against Spirit for con the conflicting information that she says led to her flush, her emo led to her flushing her emotional pet. Spirit issued a statement denying the accusation. The airline also included a link to their policy on emotional support animals which does not allow reptiles, rodents, ferrets, or spiders. And here's a little picture of little uh, pebbles. Wonder where he is now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Moving on. More breaking news. So official portraits of Obama and Michelle have been unveiled at the National Portrait Gallery Monday, breaking with tradition just as the Obama presidency did. Boy, isn't that the truth. The artists, both in their 40s, are the first African Americans to paint official portraits for the museum and both have dedicated their careers to showcasing people of color in unique ways. Amy Sherald, an artist from Baltimore, painted Michelle Obama's portrait. She's known for painting skin tones and grayscale, a way to subversely comment on race. She came in and looked at Barack and said, Mr. President, I'm really excited to meet you, and I know I'm being considered for both portraits, Obama recounted. But then Cheryl turned to, to her, Michelle, saying, I'm really hoping that you and I can work together. As they continued talking, Barack kind of faded into the woodwork, Obama joked. And in the end, the former president had nothing but praise for Cheryl and her work. Amy, I want to thank you for being so spectacular, capturing the grace, beauty, intelligence, charm, and hotness of the woman I love. He said the laughter from the crowd. Now see, he's getting into Valentine's Day. What I was always struck by whenever I saw Wiley's portraits was the degree to which they challenge our conventional views of power and privilege, recognizing the beauty and the grace and the dignity of the people who are so often invisible in our lives, Brock <laughs> said. Now this dude, Kent, I don't know how to pronounce it, Kendi? Kendi lifted it, huh? Kahindi. Kahindi? Kahindi lifted them up and gave them a platform and said they belong in the center of American life. And that was something that moved me deeply, Obama said. In my small way, that's part of what I believe politics should be about, not simply celebrating, 
the high and the mighty, expecting what the country unfolds from the top down, but rather it comes from the bottom up. Though Wiley's portraits are typically set against bright, detailed background as in Obama's portrait, the president joked that he persuaded Wiley to otherwise tone it down. His initial impulse in the work may have been to elevate me and put me in these settings with partridges, scepters, mounting me on horses. I had to explain that I've had enough political problems without you making me look like the Pope, Obama joked. We've got to bring it down just a touch, and that's what he did. There were some vanity-related requests, however, that Brock asked that went unanswered. I tried to negotiate less gray hair and smaller ears, Obama said. Kehinde's artistic integrity would not allow him to do that. Okay, so here's Brock's photo, painting, portrait. Let me see. I haven't even seen it. And this is Michelle's. Well, and this is Brock this... looking at her like, I don't even recognize you. I thought this was Brock and Michelle. No, man. Well, who is that? No, man. Don't make fair of the who first family. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't what know how that, that? I don't know how that got in there. And then here's a photo of, of the one of, of the dude that painted Brock's. This is what he normally paints is this chick, this black chick holding this white chick's decapitated head. Let me see. He painted that, and he painted this one, too. Cool, huh? Let's see. Yep. All right. Really? Well, maybe that's why that's in the picture. Maybe. Yeah, put a head in there. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, I've got one more bit of uh, breaking news. I'm sure you are right about done with all this. Okay, so... So, AJ and I received by courier our unclassified memo. Remember the one from last week that the House released, the Republican side? Okay. We, we got our copy. We reviewed it. But we just got the Democrat copy from the Democrat side. So we're going to be taking a look at it and evaluating it, and we'll try to give you, uh, you know, our take on it next week. Dear America, the other memo is fake news. Don't read it. Trump is a Russian. It was her turn. <laughs> Even si Adam signed it. I'm sure, sure glad he sent this over, though. Adam, we appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for your memo, and we'll, we'll, we'll look at it, and we'll be evaluating it this week. I hope you guys love our, our news segment of the show. Because we, we really like Let it. Let me see the picture again. Which one? Michelle's. I didn't see hers. Her picture? Yeah. Are these really the... the these are really the... Where to go? I don't know. There it is. Is that it? Oh. Okay, is... Uh, who's the... Uh, who, who got... Who wanted the, to buy the... Uh, Kim Jong Un, Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah. Jarvis, we got your uh, Kim and your rocket, brother, and uh, we're gonna sign them and we're gonna cut it and put it in the mail to you. So you can just uh, stand by, and it'll be in the mail soon. As soon as we get it cut out, you're gonna do that on the air huh? and sent your way. Oh, you think it'll take too much time if I do this? Well, with your skills, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do it. I'll do it later. But you're signed uh, Kim Jong-un, flat, Kim, flat, fat, yeah. Kim, nude Kim, is be on its way. And if you want one, they're back up to $20. $20 for... It's a lot of cutting. It's a lot of cutting. Yeah, that, that $10, we had to move that up pretty quick because... Uh, my fingers are getting sore. By the way, if you guys want to uh, <coughs> find us on Facebook at Barside Jive, find us on YouTube at Barside Jive Live. We're here every Tuesday morning at 1041-ish a.m. Depends on what kind of technical issues we have. 
It's uh, almost 11.30, AJ. We got anything else? Nope. I got nothing. We ought to drive over and see Debbie at uh, Rue 21. <laughs> she was the banditry. She was adamant about not giving out her schedule, huh? Yeah, Especially she, to you. Yeah, she's scared. <laughs> I'd been scared, too. Did, did, did we finish all the news? We got everything? Yeah. I, did you see the other? I don't know if you talked about this because I was in the kitchen, but that one where that the, the Dreamers said that if they oh. didn't get it passed that they were going to leave the country voluntarily? I thought they were going to lay down in front of the tanks no, that no. Uh, they said Trump, gonna leave. Trump was had on the parade. They said they are going to leave voluntarily. The Dreamers are going to leave? Well, yeah. you know, that would that'd be a good thing. There would be uh, less liberal voters. I just thought it was funny that they were going to leave early. Leave, 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 yeah. leave if if they yeah. don't get it, if they don't get it approved, that they're just going to voluntarily deport themselves. Yeah. Well, you know, that they, three point six million dreamers in the U.S. Well, there's more than that because I feel like I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I dream a lot too, especially when I was in school. I used to dream a lot out the window. Uh, they say that uh, <clears throat> last year alone, 135 billion was spent on that on illegal immigration. They could have built that wall six times <laughs> with that amount of money. What? What it cost the illegal immigration in one year? What I don't really understand is why we're worried about Russians messing with the elections, but we let illegals sneak in and vote. But we, but we mess with everybody's elections. Look at look at Israel last the last go around. We were trying to get anybody but Benjamin Netanyahu. We do it all the time. I don't know. You know what I don't understand? I don't what Russian? Russian? I ain't got a word of it. No, me either, man. <laughs> I can't speak it either. We should have a Russian on the show. Got yeah, a Russian should, neighbor. We should call a Russian. Yeah, I got a Russian neighbor. We should call it's hard her. to understand. Shoot, we should just go to the top and call Putin. Yeah. Think he'd answer the phone if we called him? He'd see his own uh, identifier. Yeah, if he sees uh, call, caller ID, sees bar side job, I guarantee he'd pick up. Yeah. <laughs> we might do that next week. I don't know if we can do it next week. All right. I got shit to do. I'm ready to go. Are you? Absolutely. Anything else when you talk about any anybody ask anything that's uh, no. worthwhile? Is that Lucy? Hmm. I've never seen Lucy on here before. Hey, Lucy. Mark. Yeah, all the cool people are showing up. Are they on yours? <laughs> They're not showing up on mine. Really? All right, guys. We really do uh, appreciate you watching. And we hope that it's as educational for you as it is for us. And don't forget, come down to AJ's on Main and uh, have you some barbecue. And uh, come to his barbecue. His, come to his bar, come to his Valentine's event tomorrow night. Bring your wife, your girlfriend. We've got plenty of cards here. We can we can share with you. So don't go to don't go to Walgreens and buy a card. We can give you one of ours. And. Uh, yeah, have your date right here tomorrow evening. Enjoy some barbecue. If you're real nice, AJ might even cut a heart. Cut that you cut that beef rib into a heart for him. All right. For forty nine ninety nine, AJ will cook you up a, a brisket heart. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next week, uh, Tuesday, ten forty one a.m. Bye. What the? Cool. Yeah. <laughs>
Are you really not taking any responsibility for the multiple red flags that were brought to the attention of the Broward Sheriff's Office about this shooter before the incident, whether it was people near him, close to him, calling the police Jake, Jake, on him? I could Jake, I could only take responsibility for what I knew about. I exercise my, my due diligence. I've given amazing leadership to this agency. Amazing leadership? Uh, I've worked... Yes, Jake, uh, this is, there's, there's a lot of things we've done throughout this. Uh, this is, uh, you, you don't uh, measure uh, a person's leadership by a deputy not going into a, these deputies received the training they needed. Maybe they you measure somebody's leadership by whether or not they protect the community. In this case, you've listed 23 incidents before the shooting involving the shooter and Still, nothing was done to keep guns out of his hands, to make sure that there were, the school was protected, to make sure you were keeping an eye on him. Your deputy at the Jay school Gunn, failed. Say, I don't understand how you can sit there and claim amazing Jay. leadership.